welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain how to create garage door opener arm bracket the left side you can see bracket in folded state and right side is a flat pattern so this is the application of uh, this bracket so this is how it is going to mount garage door opener bracket mounts in the center of the top section of the garage door and the garage door opener arm is then attached to this bracket using a clevis pin so usually it is done with sheet metal stamping so sheet metal stamping brackets are technically produced made from flat and metallic strips product type is sheet metal stamping bracket and material can be carbon steel brass copper stainless steel aluminum titanium alloy machining tolerance is up to 0.5 1 mm and machining process punching edging stamping and many other process surface treatment polishing heat treatment sandblasting zinc plated anodization so depending on the materials the surface treatment takes place so i am going to show you how to create this component in solid works so this is the component i am going to show you how to create it so before creating this kind of component we have to see whether it is a symmetric or not so it is a symmetric about right plane so we have to create this component from this base so let's start now so i have taken a new solvers part file select the top plane take center point rectangle so this sketch is for the base flange select the base plane so i have taken 2 mm sheet thickness and k factor is 0.45 so based on the material the k factor is going to change say okay now i am going to create this top flanges so here what we have to do is initially we have to create a base flange both the sides since it is a symmetric we have to create both the sides and here we have to take option bend out side why because we are going to modify this edges so we have to take from outside so we can you can understand while modifying so i have taken the see it is from outside usually we take from inside to meet the distance but we are taking this one say okay so now i am going to modify the one of the flange so go to sketch keep it normal here we have to drag outside so this is 4 mm distance
here we have to take two lines vertical and horizontal and go to trim entities select corner trim select these two lines here also select these two lines now this height is forty two select this edge and this line make it collinear why we are making this collinear because this three flanges of this bracket should be at a same plane one two three so we have to make this collinear See okay. Here we have to go to and hide sketches and remove remove the sketch. all the three sketches select this line and convert entity select this line and convert entity here we have to trim this See okay. See here, two flanges are created now. Now we have to create a tab. Select this base flange. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. Here we have to draw two rectangles. Select a corner rectangle. This side and the other side. Twenty. Make these two lines equal. Now go to sheet material module select the tab feature say okay now i am going to create this bottom flange so here go to edge flange select one of the edge 
see this one we have to select material inside say okay So the distance between this edge and this line is 20. Say OK. Now I am going to create the two flanges. So here go to sheet metal module and select two edges. Say okay. this value is 25 similarly we have to define the other side so since we have selected at the same time automatically it updates the other flange only we need to constrain the sketch say okay Now I am going to add this fillet over here with a break corner. Select these two edges and radius is 15. Say OK. Now I am going to create this hole. Select this one of the face, go to sheet metal module and select the simple hole. And you can make it uh, through all. Now we have to constrain the sketch. So edit sketch, keep it normal. Here what we have to do is we have to select the center and move near to this arc and place it at the center. So it is constrained now. Now I am going to add these three holes. Select one of the face, go to sheet metal module, select simple hole, say ok. Keep it normal, here what we have to do is draw center lines from one of the corner to the other corner
now select the center move to the midpoint so it constrains this is the easiest method to place the circular the center now select all the three circles make it equal so it is not at the center so we have to drag to the center point midpoint say okay now say come out of this cache so all the three holes are created now now we have to apply fillets so go to sheet metal select break corner and select this so here this value is 8 mm Say okay. Now, once again, go to break corner. Now, this uh, radius is five mm. Select the sharp edges. So it is uh, interfering. We can take take three mm. Four is fine. Here also, so it is coming out of the bend. So we have to consider all these things. So let's take three mm. Say okay. This is just to avoid the sharp corners. Now we can see the final component is ready. Now I am going to show you the flat pattern. So this is the flat pattern. So in upcoming videos, I might uh, add the drawing of this uh, component in drawing playlist. So this is how we create garage door opener on bracket. Thank you.